Welcome to the vlog. It's Friday and it's super cloudy today, so I think I'm just gonna take the bus and go to a cafe nearby and I think the bus is coming, so I'm gonna stop talking now. Okay, bye. Wow, that was like a really short bus ride. Only like two minutes. Okay, I did not expect this. It's so steep, but the view is pretty. So it's later now and I'm currently waiting at the bus stop. I'm gonna take a different bus home so I don't have to walk up those stairs again. But I have to tell you guys the craziest thing that happened. And also this is a little TMI so if you're a guy and you're sensitive to like female discussions, please skip ahead. Okay, so I went to use the bathroom in the cafe. Oh, the bus is here but I'll tell you the rest on the way back. Okay, so I went to use the bathroom and I noticed that there was a stall for men and a stall for women. And in the female stall, there were pads. And side note, the owner was a guy, so I didn't expect that, but he was so nice. And it reminded me that this morning, I was like, oh, I should pack something because it's around my time of the month, but I never really know what day it comes. And the past few months, it's been like a little bit later than usual. So I forgot to pack anything, but I was like, I'm not on my period, so it's fine. But then when I was getting up, I saw blood and I was like, what is this kind of fate? Like if I hadn't gone to that cafe, I definitely believe in fate. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say.
that cafe is called Woody. The interior was super calming and nice, but also I'm not gonna lie, I found the place on Instagram and the reason that I bookmarked it was because the barista is really cute, so. And if this makes it into the vlog, then I'm really losing my mind. Now I think I'm, I might go to Emart and get some groceries really fast. Also, I realized that this week the vlog has been very abrupt and I'm sorry for that, but I haven't talked a lot because all this week my mouth has had those like white spots that like hurt all over my tongue and I'm not really sure what caused it, like if it was something I ate but it also coincided with my period, so that might be why. But I'm really hoping it's not like a monthly development. But yeah, that's why I haven't really talked this week in the vlog, just because it's been painful to eat or drink anything or breathe or exist really. And also this week, I've really just been focusing on studying for midterms. But yeah, that's probably all for today. guys i woke up really late today well actually i woke up kind of early and then i just went back to sleep right now it's like 1 30 i think and we're headed to this rooftop cafe i hope it's not too crowded because it just opened and it seems really popular but yeah i think we're just gonna spend the afternoon there and maybe stay until sunset Wow, definitely coming back here. That was so relaxing and the rooftop is so nice. Except it did get really cold, which is why I'm actually heading back a little earlier than I thought. I was gonna stay until sunset, but you can't really see the sunset because it's in the other direction. So now we're gonna find the bus stop so we can get home. I don't know what bus to take, but we can figure that out once we're there. I missed my second bus like twice so I waited in the cold for like 30 minutes and now I'm finally back but I'm sufficiently freezing. Alright, good night guys. I'm done today. I need a warm shower and my bed. <laughs>
the most opportune time because by the time I was at the front of the line, there were like over 20 people lined up behind me. But yeah, I'll tell you guys how it tastes later because there's no way I can eat this and film without it getting everywhere. I hope no one kicks me out of this random staircase. Okay, so on top, there's fig leaf oil on this cream. And then there's a bunch of figs and a crumble. And then there's this pear sorbet. It's so refreshing. I can't believe everyone's lined up in 50 degree weather to get ice cream. I'm not usually into fruity desserts, but I have to say it's better than I expected. Because honestly, I just got it because it looked really pretty, but it's actually really good. And the figs, they're so sweet. I'm so sad fig season is ending. That's actually why I went there today, even though it's like so cold. All right, I think I'm gonna walk some more and then finish this later. Happy Sunday, guys. Today we're in Gangnam and we're going to this cafe that's on the 17th floor of a building. So it's supposed to have a really nice view of the city. And the place, you guys might have heard of it, it's called Tea Collective. It's pretty famous for being like a view cafe. But today is actually their last day, so I finally decided I should probably come before they close. And I'm hoping I didn't get their closing date wrong, because that would be tragic. But yeah, we're going to see a pretty view, and hopefully I can get some more studying done, because I've been slacking on that this weekend, and I have another midterm tomorrow. So I should probably get on that. I think we're almost there. In. When I first got here, the staff lady actually asked me to go on the waiting list and then she walked me to the elevator and as I was about to get on, she ran out and she was like, wait, we have a seat for you. And I think I got like the best seat too because I was by the window but I was also on the end so I had more space and stuff. But I didn't realize people are still waiting to get in. I mean, I guess it is their last day so. I'm kind of sad I came here on their last day because I actually really like that place. I would recommend it to you guys but <laughs> sadly it will not be here tomorrow so. And the reason I didn't come sooner is because a lot of online reviews were really negative saying that the staff were rude and stuff but I think everyone's experience is subjective because the staff were really nice to me and I had a really peaceful time there so try to give places a chance even if they don't have the best reviews. guys it's tuesday today yesterday i didn't really leave the dorms just because i had a lot to do but today we are going to the other branch of oats coffee slash oats espresso i don't know if you guys remember but last time i really wanted their tote but they actually released some new merch like this really cute mini bag and also this sweatshirt so i actually want to get those today and of course we're gonna study but yeah that is the plan for today
guys i'm currently on my way to the print shop because i need to print something for my last midterm tomorrow and then we're gonna go to the science campus so i can find my classroom for tomorrow because my midterm is in person i don't want to get lost tomorrow and then be late for my exam and then we might go grab lunch but yeah right now i'm just gonna go and print my things and then we'll see where the day takes us God. So I walked in the store and there were two ladies and both of them were cutting vegetables and I stood there for like a solid minute and neither of them noticed me until I said something and then they were both like really startled but apparently it does not open until four. So that was a bust. Now we're gonna find a different lunch place. Oh yikes. So I gotta look at the maps and find something else. God, she was right. I could not finish it. I just reached a point where I didn't want to swallow anymore. And I was going to go to Kyogo because it's nearby, but I really need to walk this off. Like, like I actually want to just keep walking. So I'm going to walk to Arkenbook, which I took you guys to last time. And I think it's better than Kyobo for studying anyway. to the exam wearing my new sweatshirt to ease some of the nerves oh, I just finished the exam which means midterm season is officially over and if you guys want me to talk more about my experience with classes here then let me know and I might do a separate video on it but to be honest right now I just don't want to think about it anymore. And today is Thursday, so I just have classes the rest of the afternoon. So I'm going to end the vlog here. We'll see when this goes up, because I have a lot of editing to catch up on. But that's it for now. See you guys in the next vlog. Surprise, banana milk taste test. I don't know why I expected it to come with a straw, but I guess this is more environmentally friendly. I want to smell it first. Oh, it smells like artificial banana. Like if you guys have ever had Laffy Taffy, that's kind of what it smells like. It's very sweet and you can definitely taste like the milkiness. There's like this milk undertone because it's banana milk, you know? I kind of like it. Well, yeah, I'm going to go enjoy this and watch some videos maybe before my next class. Bye guys. See you in the next vlog.